Let's see them hide now. Got movement. Did you get him? <laughs>Ridge wallets are sleek, compact, minimalist wallets. They're comprised of two pieces of hard material strapped together by a tightly wound cloth. Your cards go in the middle and your cash goes in the strap or a clip on the back. It takes up a lot less space than a conventional wallet. Here you can see me compare the size of one to my Galaxy S10 Plus. They also make quite the fashion statement and come in a variety of different finishes like gold, titanium, carbon fiber, and more. I personally can't see myself using anything other than the Ridge wallet by now. It's a unique, fashionable, and more importantly, efficient way to keep your cards and your money. To get one for yourself, go to ridge.com slash Gregor and use the code Gregor to get 10% off of your purchase, free shipping and handling, and free returns if you're not satisfied. Lion is a two-speed attacker armed with the E1D which stands for everyone on defense, gets fucked. Upon activation of the E1D's nuts, Lion commands everyone on the defending team. All right, stop. Pajama time. Lion is your substitute gym teacher for this round, and your usual teacher left a note concerning y'all's propensity to peek every window every five seconds. So just in case somebody is outside B, Lion's ripcord helicopter thing in the sky will ping enemies like a jackal track whenever you move, whenever the wub wub sounds are present. That's it. That's, that's all I gotta do is just hit a button. Yep. In hall, in hall, hallway, hallway, hallway. Side B! Side B! Nitro? Dead. There was a time when Yubi wanted to try out global abilities. And, uh, well, they stopped doing that. In times of old, Broken Backpack Boy would be able to mark enemies in red sharpie like Kavera, basically giving everyone free wall hacks. He could also ADS his auto rifle with an angled grip at the speed of light, which made every entry fragger and roamer main watching this video cry a little bit. Now that's the casual summary of Lion. When we talk about ranked or comp, he's a little more weird to fit on a team, but he can be useful. Lion's role is that of a crowd controller who can also gather intel. But the labels here are kind of weird because the intel he gathers is part of his crowd control ability, if that makes sense. Crowd control is the denial of movement for an opponent. Area denial is stand here or die. MMO players understand this concept after being told by their raid leaders ad nauseum, don't stand in the fire. Super high level tactic, remember that, yeah? He's got a siren for a drone, bitch stupid, isn't it? Lion doesn't open the wall or really help with opening the wall. Or can he? With the secondary hard breach, he can and maybe get a kill or two, which is pretty cool. He also has access to stun grenades, which are great for getting rid of Jaeger ADSs and Wamai discs, because now flashbangs are more useful for getting rid of the thing that makes it impossible to use your thing to get rid of the thing. You can play Lion more aggressively with the V308. It has access to an angled grip, the premium red dot sight, the two times scope, and the regular old ACOG. Or you can just do what I do and use the 417 with the super ACOG. Are DMRs viable? I don't know yet because I'm not in pro league, but as long as my heart stuck plat ass can get away with two-shotting people with a high-powered zoom scope, I'm going to continue doing that. Alex, watch Harry Potter door. Oh, yeah. Four last operator standing. Last guy was in front door. Ooh. Good job, you guys. All three, all fuck yeah. <laughs> Let's I go, hate dude. That spot, Alex. I know you use it too. I'm like, oh, it's so oh never going up top. Up. Yeah. Yes. No way, that can... no way. <laughs> I'll take it. No. I'll dude walks into take it. No. Uh, considering that Lion is a couple weeks worth of cable crossovers away from being a Gears of War character, it makes sense that he has access to a bolter. In the Ubisoft cinematic universe, some weirdo thought that the Chris Super V was just not enough large bullet in a small package designed to mitigate recoil enough, and said to chamber it in a round that your grandpa uses to hunt elk in the Alaskan wilderness. And while you're at it, says Lion, give me 50 round drum mags. 
Now, to a normal human like you or me, this seems a bit excessive and borderline ATF raid worthy. But a gigachad like Lion doesn't see anything strange or unusual about this. To a man with tree trunks for arms, 308 is a normal sized round. Lion is here to do one thing, and one thing only stop you from moving. And he'll do this the easy way or the hard way. If you don't feel like using the hammer burst for your fragging purposes, you can opt to use the Marks a Mark I marksman rifle instead. Why, why did they name it this? Ever since being given a magazine buff as well as this shiny new Super ACOG, which was just the old ACOG, but with a cleaner sight picture? I, I can't keep up. The 417 has been given new life on Lion as a great dedicated flank watch gun and just a decent long range fragging weapon in general. I have opted to use this thing more than the V308. It's not fully automatic, but the V308 is an abomination to engineering and common sense. It also has a slower time to kill. The 417 is often a two-shot body kill against most of the defenders you run into. And if that's not enough, that three time scope is the highest magnification rating anybody without Glass or Kali's guns get. Defenders will have to think twice about spawn peeking you. I find this weapon to be more suited to how I play Lion anyway. I'm not playing aggressively for frags, and most of the time my kills with the 417 are on people who aren't looking at me or don't expect me to be there holding the angle in the first place. DMRs also have great destructive capabilities now and can be used to destroy hatches and go for flanks. The disadvantage to any DMR, of course, is that it's not so great at close range. Watch out for shotguns and SMG-11s. Lion, unlike Dekebi, who has an SMG-12, makes his usage of a DMR a tad bit more controversial because his only sidearm options are the big iron on his hip or the P9. But the P9 has low recoil and a very good sight picture, plus a pretty good magazine size. So I think you'll be okay. Bringing Lion as a flank watch comes with a couple of downsides, namely in the fact that he is not Nomad or Gridlock. Nomad can basically make it impossible for an enemy to go through a doorway if that enemy doesn't have an impact grenade to get rid of it. Gridlock forces enemies to shoot out her tracks and actively slow opponents. They can also cover staircases efficiently and can be thrown through floors with her shotgun. Lion presses a button that suggests for you to stop. And if you're vigil, you don't have to listen to what the teacher says. You can just activate your cloak and behave as you did normally before Lion said red light. Additionally, that ability only lasts a couple of seconds, whereas Nomad's air jabs and Gridlock's tracks will stay there until they get shot out or blown up. Enough Lion play will usually trigger the arrival of a Vigil on defense because, like many things in Siege, if you bring an operator that people don't like, you are signaling to skinny males that you think you are better than them, and they will say disproportionately rude things in chat and bring fragging operators. If you happen to lose the game with a lion pick, you are bad and run lion. If you happen to win the game with a lion pick, you are bad and run lion. As DJ Khaled once said, I don't make these rules up. But lion's gadget does have one advantage over nomad and gridlock. It works globally and you don't have to set it somewhere and then respond to a threat. You can use it to contain a threat provided you get the intel or you can use it to capitalize on a kill. If you hear a lot of gunfighting and shooty bang bang, chances are it's not a bad opportunity to use a lion scan. You can help your teammate roam clear more efficiently. This works good on maps like Clubhouse where it's a little more difficult to justify bringing a gridlock or a nomad because there's literally too much to cut off. Lion's not a bad operator in most cases, but he's not a particularly good operator in most cases. In comp, he's typically used for roam clearing and that usually means he's going to pocket a scan for a post plant. He gets three of them, but once he uses them, they're gone forever. So that means his performance floor is pretty low. If he face checks and dies at the beginning of the round, then you don't really get anything out of him. So he's not really suited to entry fragging. He's usually the second or the third person to enter the building, assisting his entry fraggers with roam clearing and flank watch. So basically, Lion is an occasionally useful pocket pick for some maps. But sometimes, you're probably just better off bringing a Nomad or a Gridlock. I can't go through every map and every site. That's for Google and you to figure out. Back up your entry fragger during their roam clear and keep your support alive while they plant the bomb. Hit the gadget button when the bomb goes down or when your entries are trying to get somebody out of a hiding spot. And that's all you really need to know about Lion. Oh, Last guy's trophy. Yeah. What a shot! If you have to pick one, Lion, Nomad, or Gridlock, buy Nomad. Coming up next, reworked Soccer Dad. Oh yeah, follow me on Twitch. Links in the description. Deuces! Yeah.